I went for 24 years without a nickname. I was here one week, the coach saw me play, and he made the statement to the media that we have this new guy that bounces around like a pinball, and it stuck. My mom took me to register when I was eight years old, and they says, ma'am, if he is eight, can you just bring him back when he's bigger? <laughs> and she says, you don't know this boy. He got too much nervous energy. I don't care if he just, you, you know, you give him some equipment, he just runs up and down the sideline, but you're gonna let him play. You could see his athletic abilities, so I thought just to get him involved in something to make him feel good about himself. At some point, I think I convinced myself that I wasn't big enough, but the one thing that is essential is effort. Effort is what we can control. Flutie, throwing the football. When pinball talks about effort and being a smaller player myself, that's all you have. You have to prove every day in practice and every play on the field that you belong. I said, you know, don't ever let anyone tell you what you can't do. Always strive for the highest. My mom was really my hero from, from day one. She was the one who supported me, who encouraged me, and was so dedicated and loyal. She missed one football game from the time I was eight to the time I was 18 years old. And off again to Clemens. He cuts back inside, he can score! The CFL, that doesn't happen very often, where you can play your entire career in one city. He's just very appreciative of the opportunity that Toronto gave him. And in return, the city has shown their appreciation of pinball. It's just a great relationship. I love the game, and I want it to win. And you want to do your best for yourself. But when you have a great team, you, you actually begin to do it uh, for the guy next to you. Pinball put the fun back in football for me. He really did. He was the perfect teammate. Pinball was a star running back in the CFL. When I got to Toronto, I used him more so as a receiver out of the backfield and getting the ball in his hands in space. Never a complaint. You know, he, he all of a sudden he wasn't the showcase running, but he was doing he, whatever role was asked to him, and he did it to the best of his ability. He's always tried to reach higher, and I think that has really been a part of why he has been successful. It is giving everything of yourself, and it's physically what I felt like. I remember I was in the therapy room. My body was just shutting down. And for, for an athlete, that's, that's like a badge of honor. That's like saying, listen, I gave everything I had. It's all out there, right? There's nothing left. The tank is empty. There's the pitch to Clement. He's an unbelievable football player, and he's even a better person. He has a, an ability to walk in a room and lift the spirit of everyone around him. I always thought he was a gift from God because he was just always so amazing, so polite, always uh, so given. My greatest success in life is my family, followed by anything that I've been able to accomplish charitably for other people. If you can pick a role model, it's pinball. You wish you could live up to his standards uh, and how important his family is to him and how important community is to him. I'm very proud of pinball. I just hope he's proud of me. Double blue. For any single mom, it's very difficult, but to see all of his achievements and success, I am very proud of him and I'm happy uh, to be a part of, of that amazing journey. My ultimate goal was not to be successful in football. My ultimate goal was to be successful in life.